Okay, y'all, so excuse the way I'm, I look. <laughs> I'm just lounging around the house, but um, I have gotten the juicer all set up. I have washed it and I have read the manual to see what it is I'm supposed to do. Um, just as a disclaimer, before you use any new food products, we all know that we should wash the equipment first. So I have all of these greens in here. Um, and I have my celery, which this is my first time doing it, so I'm not sure um, how much celery will be needed to make an entire cup or an entire glass. So I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna rinse off my celery and I'm gonna try to try to work this thing for the first time. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> tasting the celery juice, so here we go. Oh, this is not bad at all. This is really not bad at all. I can really get used to this, wow. This actually tastes good. I thought that this was gonna be like some fear factor type stuff and it's not, I like the taste. So I guess I can mark today as day one. Okay, so it's day two. Um, it's Saturday, February 22nd, I believe. Um, right now the time is 10.23 and I know I said I wanted to drink my celery juice in the morning first thing without having anything else but I slept in this morning, I'm not hungry, so I'm just gonna get me a bottle of water um, to go to the gym. After I get back from the gym, I'm gonna make my celery juice. Um, since it's late, it's like 10.30 a.m. Uh, by the time I get back, it might be like 11 something, 12 something. So the first thing that I'll have for the day will be the celery juice. <laughs> since I wore makeup, so. Kind of feeling myself a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So I think I'm gonna stop and get me some coffee. Um, first, I'm going to a luncheon and then 
uh, I'll be getting ready for the game. So I'm not gonna stop and get like food food since I'm gonna be eating at the luncheon. But your girl is hungry. I'm gonna eat anything all day. make sure I have my red lip for the game but yeah so for my hair this is actually curly hair and I wash it and I blow dry it out and it's just a nice texture like it's huge and it just is really similar to my texture so I wash it I blow it out and after I do that I go through with my flat iron just about one pass because I don't want this to be like silky straight I still want it to have like black people hair texture so i just go through the flat iron one time and um curl it and then i put some rollers in it some of the rollers towards the end i add a little a little bit of mousse just so they could um stay and um they're holding up good so hopefully they'll last throughout the game but if they don't whatever but i just love a freshly washed wig unit because it just looks so good and then I have my hair out um, around the perimeter just so I can push this back and just so it can look a little bit more realistic so I leave my um, hairline out and I just go through that with one pass of the flat iron as well and that's that and um since I am performing I did so the unit down because we cannot risk <laughs> uh the unit flying off our head okay <laughs> China and it is hair bundles for um, a potential for a client she wants me to um, make her a wig unit so I had to place my order with my vendor in China and the package is here and I literally touched it with my fingernails threw it behind <laughs> I didn't want to bring it in the house but the mail carrier was like putting it in my hand <laughs> so i just threw it right here and um washed my hands immediately and i think now i'm just gonna spray it with some lysol Spr spray and pray okay i'll, just, I'll spray this package down like so sit there when I take it out I'm gonna really have to I probably put some disinfectant spray on the bundles and wash them and let them soak in bleach or something because I do not have time for no corona that I have made for a client and I always just try it on to see how much stretch it has and how it's feeling how comfortable it's feeling how dense the unit is and you know just make sure that it looks good on an actual human so if I have the braid pattern I will typically just make sure everything is laying right seeing if I need to have another track or whatever but everything seems to be laying 
decent. My braid pattern is not the best, so it's a little bulky. It's just in a ponytail, my real hair. Um, but yeah, with a, with a braid pattern, this would definitely lay really nice. And here's a close up on the closure. So yeah, with the perfect braid pattern, this will be great. I think she's gonna love it. And you can always hit me up if you would like a wig made. I only charge, well, I'm not gonna say what I charge. Just hit me up <laughs> if you want one made. And yeah, Ooh, I'm on my way to church and I'm running super late. Um, this morning was, well, last night was daylight savings time. So we lost an hour and that kind of messed me up. So it's like 9.50, 9.45 or whatever. And um, church starts at 10 and I'm just, literally just now getting on the interstate. Um, me and my best friend, we do this thing where we alternate weeks on who's gonna drive. And um, this week is my week to drive. So I have to pick her up and then make my way to church which is like a couple of cities over it's a good solid like 30 minute drive so yeah we're looking to be like I don't know like 30 minutes <laughs> like 30 minutes late so um yeah I kind of had the time thing confused I thought it would be uh Monday we lose an hour but it was today Sunday so yeah whatever I'm on my way I'm wearing my college paraphernalia I feel like I could not get away from my college paraphernalia if I try today at church is um HBCU day or like um MEAC day which stands for Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference yeah Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference and it's when a couple of colleges in the MEAC come to this area and they basically have a basketball tournament. So, um, you know, and that kind of just drives a lot of money into the city and it's kind of like a big hype thing, uh, whether you're in school or not. So today we're supposed to rep a HBCU or just any college, any type of college paraphernalia that you want to wear to church today. And there is a lady, I cannot recall her name, but she's gonna be um, at the church today. She played on the TV show, It's a Different World. Um, the light-skinned lady, I cannot think of her name. She kind of has like a distinct voice, but um, yeah, she's gonna be uh, at church today. So kind of like a special guest type of thing. So I'm hoping that it's not gonna be too packed in there. Cause I kind of want to be like, you know, I want to have a good view. So hopefully it's not too packed. Hopefully everybody is dragging and running late this morning. Um, so we won't be in the back because I know we're gonna get there like 30 minutes late. So yeah. So um, look at your neighbor tell him he's asking questions for all of us. Yes. Amen. So you know it would be an insult not to start with Darrell and Jasmine reflecting on a different world. What real life lessons would you like to share with young students today from It's a Different World? Wow, that's a terrific question. First, good morning. Good morning. So